healthy stock. Um, if you were with us earlier, you'll uh, have heard me quote his dad saying they've lost everything. Um, Alfie, hello. hello. How are you doing? All things considered, not too bad, you know. Tell me, what happened? It was literally all started from a grass pile next door. My brother came in and said, I think I can smell smoke. Looked over and it was a fire. Not even a fire at that point, it was just, just smouldering embers. And um, by the time we got round with the hose pipes, it had turned into something a lot bigger than that, you know. Um, within, I'd say, about two minutes, it had spread to the house. Uh, we tried our best to try and dampen it down on our side to hope, in hopes it would stop spreading, you know. Um, but obviously, you can see yourself, it, it, it didn't stop spreading, you know. Um, the fire brigade, like I said, they, they were waylaid elsewhere because there were so many fires around yesterday. It took them a while to turn up, you know. But I think even if they turned up immediately, it was, it was such a blaze. I don't think they could have done much about it if they was there on, on the spot, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I, it's, it's, I can't, I'm looking, it's the first time I've seen the damage today and there's so many houses are gone. I, I, I never thought I'd ever see anything like this, you know. From something so small to within 10 minutes, it being, well, a disaster, really. Um, yeah, but we're, everyone got out all right, which is the, the main thing. I don't, I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone's been injured. I think all the neighbours got out, all their pets got out fine. Um, it's just, it's just stuff. I just lost everything, you know. Only talk to me as much or as little as you want to. Obviously, I don't want to cause you any distress. No, no, no. That's, that's... So the fire started. You mm -hmm. tried to put it out. Then what happened? Um, we was, that's when we phoned the fire brigade and they turned up and um, they tried their best, but because they was using the water elsewhere. The water pressure was so low, the, the, it wasn't touching it, it wasn't even reaching the roof. Um, so within five minutes, they said that our house, it couldn't be saved. So that's when we moved out, tried to grab a few bits from the shed because obviously everything in the house was lost, um, but we didn't grab much, you know, just a few bits, just a few memories, you know. And um, I thought that was it. I thought it was just contained in ours. And then when I come round to the front of the green, I saw it, obviously it, the, the field had gone up. The trees right down Kenview, the, the street adjacent to it, had completely gone up. I just, it was absolute carnage, you know. Um, yeah, just a real shock. When did you realise that you needed to leave the house? Um, immediately. I think we, we all left the actual house itself. No one was going to go back in because we could see the damage to my neighbour's house, which is obviously joined to it, and I thought it could come down, you know. So we was quite sensible in that sense. No one wanted to rush back in for anything. Like, we left everything. We just left it. We got the dog out. That was the main thing. And then, um, when we and all moved to the, we moved to the garden, we've got a, quite a big yard at the end. Um, we managed to get some stuff out of the sheds. We, we waited down there because we thought we'd be safe there. But then we saw the garden come down, the shed come down, and it started moving up that way. So we had to pop the fence into the fire station, which is just behind. We waited there, and then that set on fire. So we had to move from there again. It was just constantly outrunning it all day. I want you, just to clarify, when you were saying how it started, it was just a pile of cutting. Yeah, yeah, you know how like cutters. compost. Um, Compost heat, it heats up. In, in, yeah. Like we had it before. And in your garden? We lit in the uh, next door neighbour's garden. Yeah. Um, he's in hospital at the moment, so no one was in. Um, Has he thanks, lost his home? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, totally gone. But thank God no one was in there, you know. Um, I mean, we had it about 10 years ago. That bad, like, grass pile went up and a tree burnt, and that was it. The fire came around, it was fine. But I'd never even dreamed it could turn into something like this, you know. And what about your neighbours? How did you start to alert them about what was going on? I think the. Um, because I think quite a few people were out in their gardens because of the heat, obviously. So I think a lot of people saw the smoke immediately, but there was quite a few elderly people that um, obviously were indoors and upstairs and stuff. So we just said, everyone who come out, we just said, go knock as many doors as you can. And I think everyone got involved, you know, everyone was coming to their houses. They weren't going back for their stuff. They was making sure that everyone else was getting out, you know, which was, oh, it was, it was lovely to see, really. It was, it was nice, but just horrible circumstances. How many houses do you think have been lost? I've, I think I heard that 10 maybe have actually burnt down because the fire spread to Kent View and it, it, it ripped through the roofs, you know, it went through the lofts. But um, I can't imagine the amount that are uninhabitable because of smoke damage. It was it was so thick. Um, I mean, it's, be a, it's, it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. How are your mum and dad? Devastated. Devastated. They're trying to put on a brave face. I, I think everyone is, you know, but um, I think seeing on the news last night, it zoomed right in on where our house used to be, seeing it fall down, you know. I mean, they've lived there all their life. My, my dad grew up there. Um, it's a big loss, but um, I think they just keep reminding themselves that everyone got out safe. The dog's fine. I think that's the only thing <laughs> Mum was worried about. Um, 
family's all right. So, so we can ask for it. And where did you go? What happened? Um, we went to uh, Chafford Sports Centre, which is the Harris Academy now, sorry. Um, and first of all, there was no one in there. We thought, oh, we'll just get a bit of shelter. But then so many people started coming round from all different areas, dropping bags of stuff off. There was food, water, clothes. Um, someone bought my mum a new phone. She left everything. Um, it was, I, just, I just couldn't believe it. The, the overwhelming kindness, it was, it was a bit much, to be honest. You know? But um, yeah, people give us a lift. People drove us miles, like picking our stuff up and that. Just like out the kindness of our and I couldn't believe it, really couldn't believe it. And what now? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I was hoping we could maybe get down closer, but the road shut off. Uh, it's as close as we can get today. Um, just sorting out all the bank stuff and that now. Sorting out all the documents that are being lost, trying to sort some insurance and things. It's You've got insurance? All that. Uh, yeah, there was house insurance, so... Um, Probably it's your memories that are lost. There are some things that are irreplaceable, but most of it is, you know, most yeah. of it's replaceable.